isn't a famous figure in history, but school children in three states are studying his life. Tonight, they're all in Madeira to share what they've learned. Our Closer Look report tells us why they've chosen Huff for their studies and what they're getting out of it. Kevin Cox is standing by live with more. Kevin? Hello, Rudy. We are live at Madeira's Verinda School. William Huff was a gold miner. He came to California from Texas in 1849, left a year later without finding much gold. But what he did find, Rudy and Liz, might be considered even more priceless today. He found life in the Old West, and he wrote a detailed diary about what he found here. And today, school children who live along the route that William Huff took to this area are studying his life using that diary as a textbook. And you might say, Rudy and Liz, that these covered wagons are portable classrooms because this is the way that all these people will use to retrace the life of William Huff here in the valley. These school children are about as close as they can get to the Old West. Even if this wagon is covered in plastic, their imaginations can fill in the rest. Well, it's like that you're just acting it out. It's like that it's really happening. Huff's diary says it really happened. He gives daily accounts of his trip from Texas to the California border. His great-great-grandson, Texas rancher David Bud Stewart, made the diary available for this unique history lesson. You can just feel like they had their hands right in the old western days because he gives them every gunfight and knife fight and describes uh, the Indian girls and, and their beauty in detail and the Indians and their uh, get up in detail and everything. I mean, Of course, those Indians have vanished right along with the frontier. Now they exist only in the diary of William Huff and in the imaginations of these school children. It's up to them to carry the past into the future. What I think about it is that, uh, you know, when you're studying something that, that somebody actually wrote in those days, it isn't coming through a bunch of filtered history books, you know. You feel like you're getting right into it. And this is Vera Mae Martin, isn't that right, Vera? Vera, what do we say when we uh, say the wagon train should go? Giddy up? You, you want to say that right now? Giddy up. Okay. Say it like you mean it, Vera. Yeah. Giddy up, boys. Yeah. Let's go. That's the way you do it. Okay, Rudy. Yeah. Okay, come on. Giddy up. You heard her. Go. Okay. Horses are a little slow, but... Uh oh. oh. Well, maybe they took off a little faster than we thought. Look at all this. Half dozen wagons. Just the start of the festivities for those students from Arizona, Texas, and California. Tomorrow, they put William Huff on trial. The authenticity of his diaries in a mock court to see if they're true. Tomorrow night, they put on plays covering his life. Sounds like a lot Giddy of fun. Giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, you ought to hop on the wagon train with them. Well, Liz, like I've, fun. You, you know I've done that. I did that in Clovis. I but, know uh, you did. <laughs> You're used to this. Well, this is lots of fun, though. <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Ahead tonight, our report from the high seas. And Taylor on sports. And Angelo's